Hi, welcome back. And today I'm here for the third episode of A Girl's Reflections. So let's start. So today I'll be talking about how comparing yourself just gets you nowhere. Let's be honest. One of the worst things that we can do to our self-esteem is to compare ourselves to others. Whether it's our looks, our bodies, our lives, or like whatever. Like comparing ourselves never makes us feel better. And like the worst part, it's like oftentimes we don't even realize we are doing it. It seems like everyone else lives a perfect life and we get stuck thinking why isn't my life like that or I wish I were in their shoes but let me tell you something that idea of perfection doesn't exist okay and the more you compare yourself the deeper you sink like how many times have you looked at someone and thought She's so beautiful, I'll never be like her, or I wish I could be like her. Like, I bet you have done it, like, countless times, but there's a truth that we constantly forget. Like, beauty is completely subjective. You know, the person you think is beautiful, like someone else, might think completely the opposite. So, there are no rules, like, no fixed standards. This is not, like, a law you know, and, and like what a person thinks is beautiful, another person might not think the same way. And you know what, like our beauty isn't everything. Think about it. What's the point of being beautiful on the outside, of always having like an impeccable appearance, you know, if in the inside you are just a horrible person you know what's the point of like having a perfect hair perfect skin but like being rude arrogant or having a bad character because like believe me when someone has like good energy a good heart like that person to us is simply beautiful you may not even notice but true beauty goes far beyond appearance And the energy that a person transmits, like the way they make you feel, that's what makes them truly beautiful. Now let me explain something to you that many of us don't even realize. Often, people see more than what they are because we are projecting our own energy onto them. You probably have heard like the saying love is blind right and well when we like someone we start to see that person in a distorted way so the they might not be all that but but because we are so emotionally involved all of our energy just goes to them and we end up creating like an uh, almost perfect image of that person So, let me tell you a story. I once heard of someone who was in a relationship with a real walking red flag, you know. And everyone around her was warning her, like, this person is not good for you. This is not going to work out. But do you know what happened? She couldn't see it. Because, like, when we are involved, like, it's like we become blind even if your friends tell you a thousand times that something is not right you can see it but then like when the relationship ends it's it's just like magic you finally see the truth you know and do you know why this happens because when you leave that relationship you take away all that energy that you had put into that person and that's when the charms just disappear like basically like beauty or the image you have of someone is often what you see and project on them. Now regarding the comparison of lives, 
This is something we really need to understand. We are different people with different backgrounds, different experiences, and even different ways of seeing the world. Therefore, our lives are also different, and that's okay. The problem is that we often just get impatient. We see someone else getting what we want, and we think, but why hasn't it happened to me yet? I understand, you know, but you have to understand that things happen in our lives when we are ready for them. You know, they happen in the right time. So imagine that you have a goal or really want something, but the time hasn't come for it to happen yet. And then you see someone who is already at that level and that stage that you want so much. What do you need to understand? Like this person is there now because they are ready for it. And you'll get there too. But at the right time, like now, you you are not ready for that. But when that time comes, then you'll get it. So don't compare yourself. Because like everything in life has its own time. Okay? Just get this in your mind. Another thing that often affects us is this tendency to want what others have just because it seems to work for them. This reminds me of those situations where like a friend buys something new, even if it's expensive, and you immediately just want to buy the same thing just because, you know, she likes it. But sometimes you have to ask, do you really need it? Because, I mean, sometimes just because something works for others doesn't mean it will like work for you or that you actually gonna use it and that you really need to buy that and always looking at your like next door neighbor will only hurt you you know you will start to feel frustrated sad and even angry you know about all the situation But as I said in the last episode, if you ever feel like jealous or angry at someone who has something or has a shift, something that you want to have, just look inside yourself. You know, take that anger or envy and transform it into something that helps you evolve. Use it like as an inspiration to motivate yourself. Just think, why do I feel this way? What do I want and what can I do to achieve the same? Like, we have always been taught that, like, these feelings, you know, anger, you know, envy, you know, all this are, like, negative and bad and we shouldn't feel this way and we just end up condemning ourselves because of it. But, like, don't forget that these feelings, you know, they teach you a lot about yourself, okay? So, like, these feelings show you that you can achieve it too, you know, like if you believe it and if you just want to work hard and try to, you know, get in a way to get to the place that you want to be, I mean, you can do anything, you know, everything is possible. And yeah, these feelings just show you that you know they show you something that make you realize what you really want and that maybe you are just deceiving yourself and don't realize it so you don't want to face reality like the thing is that anger and envy can be like transformed into something positive and instead of just thinking about you know, being jealous of someone and trying to make other person feel bad, you know, just try to destroy other people's happiness, like just use these emotions as a motivation, you know, just use it to help yourself. And again, if you feel envious of someone, just ask yourself why you want what they have. So, The lesson here is live your life at your own pace. Stop focusing so much on what other people have or do. You are unique and your path 
is unique too. And comparing yourself is just a destructive cycle, you know, that only will keep you from achieving, you know, your true potential. And instead of comparing yourself to others, just start valuing who you are, what you have achieved and what you can still achieve. And trust me, like everything has its time and your time will come. So until then, just focus on being the best version of yourself and without letting yourself be influenced by what others are doing. And that's all for today. I hope you liked this episode that somehow my words just made your day a little better. So yeah, that's all for today. And see you in the next episode. Bye.